Okay, the pros of using uh, Stable Diffusion on a browser using Google Collab here is that you can use it anywhere. You don't have to buy a computer, you don't buy an expensive computer. It doesn't matter whether you're PC, Mac or Linux. As long as you have a browser, you can use it. You can even use it on a phone. This means you can generate AI images even while you're on the go using your handphone. Like what I'm doing now, on the phone. It's an extremely convenient and fun thing to do when you're on the move and you can generate images practically anywhere you go using your phone. Of course, you can choose to do it on a laptop like what I'm doing now, but there are some cons. The biggest bad thing about this is unlike a lot of YouTube videos, it's not free eventually. You are limited by two things. First thing, your storage drive. The more things that you have to download, the more space it eats up and you eventually most likely go past the free 15 GB storage and you have to buy more storage. It's possible to keep deleting stuff and then only using those that you need to use, but uh, it's not really that efficient. So you can see here the cost here. And the final con is that you need compute units to run stable diffusion on the cloud. If you can see here, and this is what enables your stable diffusion to run on the cloud. You can use the free version of uh, Google Collab. It gives you roughly around 12 hours. And you can see the usage rate here is around 1.96 per hour. Eventually you run out, you either wait for more free compute units or you can buy them. I didn't do the subscription, I just did a pay as you go and I bought uh, 100 compute units. So that's the downside, nothing is free in this world, uh, just costs a couple of money. My thinking is that you just save on a couple of Starbucks coffee and you're able to do this as a hobby. Another disadvantage of using Google Collab compared to a locally installed stable diffusion on your laptop is that in order to use Stable Diffusion on a web page, you have to click on all these buttons again to restart another session of Stable Diffusion on your browser. If you have previously installed Stable Diffusion, this won't take too long. It will take a couple of minutes just to start up. That's it. There's a lot more things to do after, so check out my other videos. Thanks, bye.